Well, hey, everybody, and welcome back to Devo's. We are well into spring now, and it doesn't take long for us to feel the sunshine and the temperature rising, and I kind of like this temp. I like the sun, not as high on the uh, uh, scale of, of heat as it's going to get. I'm not a big fan of the allergies, but such is life. If you haven't yet, click on like and share uh, so that other people can join us and be on this journey with us in these devotions. Sunday, we got into the second part of our series called Live No Lies. And as we uh, dove in, we, we talked about uh, the lie that has trapped so many of us. I am what I've done. Okay, My past, even my present, um, is, is just the way it is. We've all made mistakes. We all have regrets. We all have some sliding door moments where we wonder if we had chosen the blue pill instead of the red pill, would, 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 would things have turned out differently for us where we would be uh, in our life, where we would be with relationships, where uh, what we would have, what would our finances look like if only we had made a few different choices along the way. But for some of us, we let those questions that uh, for many of us are just kind of fleeting thoughts and, and those mistakes and those missteps, they linger in our mind to the point that they, they, they become long-lasting shame in us. Sin is what separates us from God, but sin and shame can be the thing that rattles around in your head and, and makes us wonder how, how real and how effective God's grace and forgiveness really is and really can be for us. If you, if you find that you have some things from your past that you tend to lean into uh, to, to make yourself feel uh, worthless or unlovable. It's just kind of what they do uh, because of this public or private part of your past. If you tell yourself that if anybody really knew about me and knew what I've done, they, they would never love me. And, and you let that thinking even infiltrate the way that you think about God and what God thinks of you, that, that's the work of the father of lies in you. That's the work of shame from something that he's already offered to forgive you for, still living in your head and in your spirit rent-free. Well, let me share a passage from Psalm 103 with you. And it was actually on our screen Sunday uh, during uh, communion, I believe. You may not have known the address of the scripture, but you have heard these words before. David writes, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. If you needed a measurement of how far away God removes sin from how he sees you, David says it's as far as the east is from the west, which sounds like a long, long way, but it may be even further than you realized. Just some quick geography for you here. If you went to Louisville Airport, and you got on a plane and you headed east, okay? That plane would go as far as New York and, and, and kind of get there before it reached the edge of the country. Um, and, and you would have been heading east uh, the whole time, a pretty good distance. But what if you kept going east and you got all the way across the pond and you got to Portugal and you got into Italy and then you kept going east until you got all the way to China? Would that be the end of east for you? See, when I think about um, old books that regarded China as the Far East, that seems pretty East all the way over there. But if you are in China, can you keep going East? Yeah, you can. In fact, you could go all the way around the globe and back to Louisville, and you would still be heading East the whole time. East and West work that way. North and South don't. If you flew North from Louisville and you got to the North Pole, once you flew over that you would start heading south, okay? North and south have poles that, and that, that have changeovers and there's a, a distance that you can go and then you start going the other direction, but not east and west. It's interesting that David says that God removes our transgressions and our sins and our shame as far as the east is from the west. It is an infinite distance that cannot be measured. One is not even in sight of the other one. You can't see west from east. And I'm guessing that that was pretty refreshing for somebody like David. I mean, not to drudge up his own rap sheet, but David was an adulterer. He was a liar. He was a murderer. And though there were consequences for his sin and his transgressions, pretty major ones, in fact, um, his sins were removed from him as far as the east is from, well, some other point that we can't ever find. 
That's how complete God's forgiveness and God's grace is for you. He doesn't see them, not because he can't, but because he has removed them so far away, they are not even, it's not even possible to find that location where God has moved your sin and your shame away from you. Let's pray. God, we thank you for forgiveness. We thank you for grace. Remind us in those moments when we forget about just how amazing that grace is, just how complete that grace is, just how finished that forgiveness is in our life. Would you allow that to pick us up even today and remind us who we are in you versus who we are if we were left just to ourselves? God, would you help us to put away those lies from the past and realize that we are who we are because we are yours? And Jesus is who we are in you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, hey, don't forget, uh, movie night is coming this Thursday. Uh, Pizza at 5.30, movies at 6.15. We're watching Jesus Revolution. It's really just a night of fellowship, but I'm telling you, this is a great, great movie. Um, It's a powerful movie. It's got some, some... it's, it's a historical movie, but it's got some great stuff that's in it. And if you don't know what it's about, it's, it's all about the, the Jesus movement that happened out in California in the 70s. And, and the things that you may think you know about that, uh, you're, you're probably going to have that changed a little bit in your mind uh, as you see that unfold. So I hope that you'll be a part of it and get to see uh, what we see Thursday. Uh, again, pizza at 530, movie starts at 615, we'll be done by 815. Hope you can be with us for that um, as we go through this week. Just don't fall for the lies that you are what you've done. The truth is, because of Jesus, you are not your past. Have a great rest of the week.